Hey guys, this is PR Reviews here. So I'm going to review the St. Kaiser from Mohar Sentai Mud Ranger. Or the American version, the Phoenix Resort from uh, Power Rangers Mystic Force. Or it's also called the Steel Gun Resort. So the American version has two names. The first, the Phoenix Resort, the name is actually in the show where they call the resort it. While the, the other name is actually um, when you buy it in the box, they say it's Steel Gun Furry Resort. So, I don't know why it has two names, but who cares? So, um, anyways, this both have two, it comprises the two sorts. Um, the most of the body, of course, makes up is the horse. Um, in the America version, is a horse. In the Japanese version, I think it's a unicorn. So, in the American version, I think the name is Bright Star. Well, in the Japanese version, I can't remember. I think it's Unico or Horn. Corn, I don't know. And this is actually. Um, Magic Phoenix or Mystic Phoenix repaint version. So let's take a look first at this sort right here. So this is the name here in the Japanese version is Magic Phoenix, and in the American version is the Mystic Phoenix. So it just changes from Magic to Mystic. So um, it's like you know, like the two names are the Phoenix here, but I don't have it. Uh, so as so I'm gonna give a review about this. So this is actually really nice. It's not really it's if not it's not like a phoenix. It's a humanoid phoenix, but it's a really great toy. I, I like the idea of creating the phoenix, a bird, as a humanoid. So um, yes, go spot go crash here. Um, it's actually red in the original mystic phoenix. The one in the tin and make sure, but now it changes from red to gold. As you can see, uh, this crest here is gold, along with this whole mystic M and the belt and the legs. So um, they are all repainted. It's the same thing in the Japanese version, the uh, Magic King, and in the Japanese version, it also has red spots on all of these. Go, so um, they are both the same thing. So now let's take a look at the unicorn or the horse, bright star. Up here, okay. This is a really nice resort to have. I'm starting with this horn right here. Um, it's actually a repainted sword from the Red Rangers. Um, the Red Rangers Tinamazo or the Magic King in the Red Rangers, it has a sword. And this is actually a repainted and remote sword. And as you can see, it also fits here in the hand. Like so. And if you want to put it there, you'll, you can close this uh, thing right here that holds the sword and the horn in place. Okay, so the face itself is really nice. I like the details here. The gold that goes down here with the nice eye details, which is really good. It has two ears right here. It has a st this long thing right here that goes down, makes it really nice. Uh, it's like a really nice down design, so um, really good. And here, we see the legs. I actually made it with a really nice gold below, gold, yeah, and it's nice footrest that has this detail right here, and the back legs, they are, um, they are normal, so, but still really nice detailing. So here, you can see there's a nice detailing on this thing right here, this detail on the um, the tail and the rest of them is actually basic, not really good. But this sword is really nice, it's kind of like a robotic sword, even though it's magic and you know, but it's still a good sword to have. So, I don't know, this two swords are okay, and they're really good. But let's get on to transformation, okay? So, now for transformation, the first thing you can do is basically 
uh, make uh, the magic phoenix sit on the unicorn or the horse. Um, it's actually not really a transformation, it just makes it like right. So you put this hands up like this. You take this uh this panel right here and pull it up. And you make the legs in place. Like so. And you just you can see these two clips on the legs. They go to these two clips here. Like so, and you put the legs like on the footrest, not really on it, but it's just like that. And you yeah, actually make it like that. So it does like kind of like rides with the horse, so it's really nice. But it's not really a transformation, but you can do it. Okay, the next one I show you is the center mode. Uh, what you do is take out this whole head here and the neck, just pull it off, like so. This head will be actually become a sword, which I will show you how to transform it right now. So you take out this head right here, so and you put this horn down, like that, okay? And you straighten out this thing, like so, and you pull this... Uh, piece open out like that and you um, basically combine this and turn it down for center mode, centaur mode if it's megzord mode then you put it up but centaur mode so you put it down and then there's a little peg here as you can see Okay, so you just pull the peg out, like that. Okay, so now you transform the sword. Now let's transform the uh, extra phoenix. It doesn't actually need to transform it, so just leave it in a normal mode, like so. Then you put this up again, down, okay. So um, then you just open these two hatch right here. And you just take these two leg clips and this a butt clip. You put it on these three clips. Just snap it in. Like so and you put up hands. And you close these two a hatch. Okay, now you just take the sword and you see the little pet right there. You just pull it on the hand. Like this way. Like so. And now you have centaur mode which is not in the show. It's not in the show. It's yeah, it's not in the show. So it's just for fun, you can do this. Gives you a full 360 view. So you can see how the hand grips on that piece. It, and it's like really nice. It's like a spear. Yeah. Okay, now for the Megazord transformation. Okay, now to transform it, uh, first uh, you don't have to take the things up because it's already going to be in there. And you don't need to transform the sword because it's going to be like that, except you need to put the peg in and turn this around. So now the sword is done for the Megazord. So now what you do is, first you put these two uh, hands, you just put it in front. Put down and turn it in front. Put this down and turn it in front. Like so. Next thing you do um, is to give me a second. Okay, is to take out this tail right here. Like that. And turn this around. 
put this down like so and you leave that for later sorry for shaking it didn't mean to do that so you take this uh, this hatch right here on the back of the phoenix ball you put it down and put the head in put this in hmm. alright now first is you need to put these silver things down on both lips put this down and put the other silver thing down and now you and you now you take this footrest off and you put this down like so and you snap it in place do the same thing for this so you just snap this in place and you turn these two legs around like this so and you hold these and turn this behind and you turn put these up so you put the legs in and you turn this up like so that's gonna be the front of the body now you take this piece right here this piece that I asked you to hold on you put it in here it will complete the mystic force in so I'll snap these in place there are pegs on the arms there I'll snap it in after you did that, okay, you take these two hands and you like just like I'll put this out a little bit and take this piece here, put that down, turn the whole body around 180 degrees, and you put this up. Just tip this up and you push the body down and you put it in, snap it in place, like so. And you take this, uh, hold on a second, now we'll just move up the camera. And that should be good. And put this down. And put this up. And we have the same Kaiser or the uh, Phoenix Resort. Or maybe a Steel Gun Resort. So I'll take the sword and put it in. And now you have a make sword or Senai sword completed. So um, it's really nice Sentai Mecha, or I mean Sentai Mecha completed. Uh, so it's a really nice sword here. Uh, it's, it's like a knight in shining armor because it looks like that. And it has some horse design here or unicorn design. So um, it's really good. The thing and it's, if you like, uh, you can buy it. Um, well, I will give this measure a 4 out of 5, or maybe an 8 out of 10. Because of the, it's a really nice idea of making it look like a knight in shining armor. And it looks nice. Clever. Okay, it's kind of clever. With how the details of every single thing was extremely detailed. Um, the sword also, if you look at sword. Um, from a horse head, it can be transformed to this really long and nice sword. Spear front and the horn at the back. It's a really nice kind of idea to do it. So it's a really good thing to use and to buy if you like to. If you're a fan of it, you can buy. You can buy in both American and Japanese version because they are both the same. Uh, there's no difference in any of them, so uh, so yeah, that's it. That's all I like to say. So the ratings are good. The only thing that holds it back from a 10 out of 10 is basically, and um, as you can see, um, this uh, thing right here, this a uh, little centerpiece, um, it's not really like uh, matched with this piece. I mean, like this, like this red right here and it, it don't match because it's like it pops out it, it does not push in so the only thing that I have problem with this is this part because as you can see there's this little line right here in the center it's supposed to go in but it pops out and makes this a uh, weird it's kind of like a weird thing like so and 
then yeah, that's the only complaint that I have. Not really a complaint, but uh, just to make it better. But it's still a good resort though, it's just a minor complaint. Anyways, this is just a review. I hope you like it. And see you next time with another video. Another video review. Bye guys.